find an anthill? Wow! Look at all these ants! Cody, do you want to find out more about ants? The ants that we see outside are only a small number compared to all the ants below the soil. These huge groups of ants are called colonies. A single colony may contain thousands, even millions of ants. Every ant in a colony has a specific job. Worker ants are small ants that are responsible for everything from digging and repairing the tunnels, to gathering food, to caring for the young ants. All of the worker ants are females. The male ant's job is to fertilize the queen. They are larger than the worker ants, but not as large as the queen. The largest and most important ant of the colony is the queen. Her job is to lay eggs. There are four stages in an ant's life cycle. The queen lays her eggs. After a few days, the eggs hatch into larvae. Each larva spins a silk cocoon around itself. Inside the cocoon, the larva grows into a pupa. A few weeks later, full-grown ants hatch out of their cocoons. An ant's body is divided into three main sections. The head, the thorax, and the abdomen. The abdomen is where an ant's stomach is stored. Ants have six legs and have claws at the end of each leg. On top of the ant's head are two antennae. These antennae, called feelers, are used to smell, touch, taste, and hear. Ants also have two jaws, the inner jaw and the outer jaw. The inner jaw is used to chew food, and the outer jaw is used to grip and carry objects. Ants communicate by releasing a scent called pheromone. Once the worker ants have found a good source of food, they leave a scent behind creating a scent trail leading back to the colony. a drawing? Wow! Let's see who it's from! This beautiful drawing is from Tannis. She is 8 years old and she's from Florida in the United States. Thank you, Tannis, for the amazing drawing! 